What's up, guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Diluvion. My name is Splattercat, and I am accidentally undocking because I'm a giant sloppy floppy noob. Welcome on back in, though. In today's episode, we're hopefully going to be able to get some stuff done. When we arrived here, it gave us a prompt of some kind. Refugee Storyteller. Every man, woman, and child must work hard even when the world is cruel and all seems lost, for the eyes of the great goddess Lun see every deed. As you know, when we have repaid our debts by showing her enough kindness to outweigh the darkness brought about by our ancestors, the ice above will part and she will lead us into a bright new world above the water. A world where no one goes cold or hungry. I mean, one could argue that she could just read the content of your character now and just kind of speed up the process. Like, why are there always these complicated, difficult initiations? Like, if these gods are really all-powerful, can't they just be like, oh yeah, definitely culture has shifted, you're all good people now, let's stop this whole underwater ice age thing we got going on. He's a fish dealer, what does she have? What is this place? A haven for all who fled the sunken coast during the fall of the house Morganson. Keep quiet on what you found here, the other houses still have search parties out looking for survivors. Oh, so these people are like hunted, okay. May I take one? Okay, we're supposed to share. So what does she have? Oh, she has blackberries. Yeah, I'll take them. So we found the blackberries then. That's another one of our objectives done. I had no idea where to get blackberries from. But hey, we managed to get her finished off, so... No complaints from me. Refugee Mariana. Probably won't go that way. Now that we found this down here... I would say that a northwest heading is probably... South, southwest, northwest. So if you're wondering how this works, this is actually an old way of reading things. You don't they they still teach this in geology and cartography classes, but it's not how it's reported anymore. At least not on official geographical and geological paperwork. So north northwest is northwest heading with favoring of north. So it gives you like forty five degrees essentially of arbitrariness. Arbitration, whatever. Whereas if you've got west northwest, that would be northwest favoring the westerly. So, in case you were wondering how that works, that's how it works, and that's what those little things denote right there. In case you had been thinking about it. In between episodes, and we're wondering, they did teach us that. It's kind of like they teach you, uh, they teach you range headings and all kinds of random stuff when you learn cartography, geography, and geology now. You learn all kinds of random, stupid stuff that's actually not used anymore. But, occasionally you run into it in paperwork. Like, no lie, stuff like Township and Range, for example. Township and Range is an old way that they used to do surveys in the United States, where it basically subdivides things down into little squares. And you have to know how to read the squares properly, otherwise it gets really, really confusing for the person reading your paperwork, because it's a... It's basically a language unto itself. Like, there's a very, very specific way that you denote, like, a range, a sub-range, a township, and all that kind of stuff. And if you mess it up, it means something completely, ridiculously different than if you write it the right way. And so getting it right the first time is pretty important. But Township and Range isn't used anymore, but they still teach it because they're in the process of converting all of the paperwork over for the government from Township and Range over to the current mapping. And so if you run into old paperwork, you're going to have to do the transition yourself because it means nobody's been assigned to it yet. And so it's one of those things that they teach you just in case you ever come across it and you need to like decipher it really quickly. A gnome capsule. Half speed, half speed. I don't know if we can fit in here. So what's a gnome capsule? It's just like a little storage area? Like, I'm okay with that if it's just a little storage area. No doubt. I mean, I'm going to get up in this thing either way because it looks like an old abandoned facility that might have some useful stuff to us. There we go. A little bit more money. And since we're a tad tapped out at the moment anyways, it's probably a good thing. I mean, we've got torpedoes and stuff to sell, so we're not totally shit out of luck yet. But we wanted a northwest heading from daybreak so that we could go out this way and see if we could find anything. I think there might also reasonably be something right there that we would want to look at. 
So let's get trucking. I see no reason for us to waste time. We'll more than likely have issues with pirates on our way out there. Tell me what you're thinking about stuff. I mean, Deluvion is one of those games where I think it will definitely be attractive to a certain type of player, the kind of people that really enjoyed Freelancer, the kind of people that really enjoyed Rebel Galaxy, the kind of people that really, really enjoy games like this where you're basically just giving carte blanche to sail around and do whatever you want to do while paying attention to sub-objectives. Like, it's very much kind of an explore exploratory game, and so I think a lot of people will get into that. But at the same time, it is a simple game too and I think that will turn some people off is that there's not like a huge breadth of complication inside this title it's just a, a game for you to play you know and really that's what we sign up for with games right I, I think some people really really like stuff that's crazy complicated and out there whereas other people do not I'm somewhere in the middle I feel like this game could definitely use some extra layers well, there's more gnome capsules over here, so I guess I'll check that out. I think the game could definitely use some extra layers of gameplay, but we're not that far in yet. So who knows? Maybe more layers get added later on. I don't think they will, judging by the way the UI is designed, but it could happen. I'm taking everything right now. Like, I don't really care. I understand what they were going for with the looting system, too, where it scans and you go inside of buildings and you do the hunt and click. But with smaller stuff, it might have been easier if you just came up and, like, when you docked with it, it just automatically added the loot to your inventory and, like, checked it off the list of places you have or have not been. Rope tension, tension on my rope. Strain, deformation, tension. Stress, things happening. I'm going to get rid of that right there before something bad happens. We want to keep our heading... And go in this direction. My next suggestion would be, now that we have a heading, let's pump her on up to full speed. I'm going to give this a good scan to see what pops up. It looks like we've got a whole bunch of mines out here. Got a research capsule off in that direction. That's more than likely that object right there. It appears to be suspended up in the air just like that on the map. So I think that's our guy. We're at 156 right now, which is actually kind of crazy. I didn't realize how far our depth was. We really need to upgrade our stuff so that we can get down deeper. I wonder if there's going to be sea monsters and stuff down below. We found cross ice. Okay. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Is there actually like a centralized location we can dock with here? Or is it not that important for right now? I mean, this is just a research capsule right here, so I doubt it's going to have anything that we really, really want. The Anchored Ice Chart. I sure would like a martini glass big enough to hold that beauty. Jason Fleet, Adventurer. Never had a martini. Actually, now that I think about it. My next suggestion would be maybe be if we can't use this for anything that we head north. And maybe try to do something there. It does look like it wants us to turn the hell around. That gold thing right there says it's leading us to a new objective, but like... What that objective is, it's not being super clear about. I wish I knew. So yeah, it doesn't look like there's any docking spots on here. Instead, I would say we plan a north heading and we just go over here and see what's going on with that. I like our new accurate gun. I think it is using the new gun right now because our old gun would have never made that shot. There isn't like a snowball's chance in just like ultimate doom hell that it would make that shot right there. Like a cat's chance in a kennel, you know what I mean? Oh, hey. What's going on, buddy? Do what you want because a pirate is free. He is a pirate. I will kill him because he's shooting at me. Pirates get bucked on. Dive, dive. There we go. That's what I like to see. Is he down? All right, we got him. Used a repair kit to fix up that damage after the combat because we have more than too many of those. We'll go ahead and dock with him and see what he's got going on because he had the gall to shoot at us. Eh, a little bit of money. Probably worth about 400 500 for scrapping him. So we've got traders around. We had a northward heading that we were looking at. We are right next to a mine. 
There's another pirate over there. I'm thinking we might not be in very friendly territory. I'm thinking we might be in hostile waters. That's got me feeling a tiny bit nervous. I don't believe within a shadow of a doubt we're going to avoid fighting that pirate right there, so we might as well get on it now. So we've got flounder pirates all over the place. So is this like a pirate base? What is this? It's got to be a pirate base of some kind. And one that I'm not very interested in fighting while we're on the subject. There are a lot of pirates over here. Hmm. Well, I mean, that puts us right there on the whatever that is. We still haven't figured out exactly where, so that's where we came from at the beginning, I think, because we came by Stavkirk, as I recall. Yeah, I really wish they would actually just tell you where you needed to go sometimes. Especially since travel takes so long. If we go back to like a centralized location, I'll watch out for any research hubs or anything else down here. There's a big busted ass ship down there. I can already see it. A janky gnome colony. What? <laughs> Apparently we're checking out janky gnome colony. It also looks like something might be going on down here because I see fish all around it. The Dancing Marin. So what's up with the Dancing Marin? Why are you so excited about this? What's the Dancing Marin? Are you kidding? It's one of the coolest landmarks ever. Incredible that it's managed to stay balanced for centuries. Oh, that's it? Okay. I guess we were excited about that for some reason. Give me another ping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Doop -ba -doo -doo -doo. Give me lots of mini pings. Doop -ba -doo -doo -doo. There's a research capsule over there. There's a research capsule down here on the side of the Marin. There are some pirates out there who probably want to mess with us a little bit. Let's go for the research capsule first. Oh, we're at crush depth. Never mind. Yeah, get back up above crush, please. We actually are low on oxygen, too. So that's slightly alarming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm making a break for a research capsule. I don't know how that affects things. Oh, we already took the oxygen from there, so that's not going to work. Okay. Well, then we need to hightail it back to wherever it is we need to go. I'm a little curious what happens when air runs out. Suppose that murdering a guy is an option and taking his oxygen. Yay, piracy and all that. That is a really obnoxious sound. Screw it, let's run up on him.
Sorry, pal. The homie's got to breathe. Oh, really? He doesn't have any oxygen either. So who has oxygen around here? Because I've tried to get my oxygen back off like five locations that normally give me oxygen. And none of them have been successful so far. I guess we'll go to the janky gnome colony. It's the closest thing that I've got eyes locked on, so whatever. Yeah, that's what I figured was going to happen at any moment. Ah, well. You win some, you lose some, I guess. And sometimes the stakes for losing one are it's dying at the bottom of the ocean. I, I don't envy the people who die at the bottom of the ocean, and that's what happens to them, but you got to do what you got to do. So this is it telling me I need to go to, like, Tal Dollar again or something like that. I don't know what Tal I don't know where Tal Dollar is. Unfortunately, they keep referencing a place and then not telling me, like, what quadrant or area that it might be in. I'm okay exploring and looking for something, but I'm going to need a little bit better of a heading than just, like, a name of a place in order to get there. Those lights appear to be leading me back to there. I'm not sure why. I think we already got the blackberries or whatever from there, so it probably shouldn't keep that path lit up any further. I, I don't know. Maybe I'll take a look around after this episode and see if in the menus or anything like that I can figure out a way to light up a path to the place I want to go. But up until then, let's just have a look around. I suppose that I probably... Well, I don't know. We're kind of we're kind of moving aimlessly at this point. I'm not sure how to get ourselves out of this predicament. All we can really do is just keep exploring and hope we come across the thing that we're looking for. I can't really tell you much more than that. However, we do have a lot of unexplored areas, so I don't think it's going to be too far of a stretch, I guess, to guess that it's in one of the uncovered areas that we haven't been in yet. So maybe I'll head in that direction, and we'll just hope for some kind of resolution that way. I don't know. What do you think down below? I, maybe I'm completely off base here, but I kind of feel like if they're going to tell me the name of a location, they should at least give me like a rough area of the map where I can find that location. I'm not telling them to give me like a magical golden star or anything that gives me the objective. All I'm saying is like, hey, it's in the southwest somewhere. You know, then I get to explore, but I have like a rough heading, so I guess we'll just start looking at all the areas that I haven't been to yet, and hoping that that has some of the objectives that we're looking for. Things like the steel plates, we've already taken care of, but we still need engine parts, and we still need access to the Morse machine. So there's that. I don't know. We'll look around for it. This game is pretty. I mean, I enjoy the whole exploration aspect that it has around. I hope that in different areas the water is less opaque. Like, as you go into, like, different biomes or whatever, it'd be cool if some were, like, clearer than others, because some water in the ocean is absolutely clearer than other water. So far, it's all been kind of murky. Murkish, to say the least. At the bare minimum. I don't know, though. It looks like there's something up on that ridge right there. What is that? Is that, like, a ship? It looks like it's a sunken ship of some kind. Let's go have ourselves a little bit of a look-see. Uh, no landmines around. Are there? Oh, there are landmines. Hold on, let me destroy these little bastards. Kia! There we go, we've got those out of the way. Oh no! Oh no, bad things are happening. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, shitty face. Sorry about that hard drive crash. So inside the ship back there that was on that little ridge, we found engine parts. So we know we're in the right part of the ocean for engine parts right now. Which is kind of good, I guess. I still kind of wish that our sonar guy would tell us, like, where whatever that place is, Tal Dal Boss or whatever is at, but, you know, I'm not a huge fan of hand-holding, but at the same time, I feel like there's not enough information in this game. Like, they give you these objectives, but they, they'll be like, oh, you have to go to this place, and I'm like, okay, so where is that place? Nobody seems to know. And so then you just, like, you, you end up just sailing around in circles, basically looking for things. And I feel like they could have streamlined that a little bit better. Like, be like, oh yeah, it's in the northeast part of the ocean. There you go. Now that's something to work off of. Whereas, just like, go to the place. That's not very helpful. Let's see here. Three more engine parts. So that's good. That's what we picked up from the last place, too. We do have crowbars. 
I think. Do we have crowbars? Let me look. No, we do not have crowbars. Oh, I'm so glad I didn't click the yes as a reflex right there then. Good. My guess is that right now we're probably deep, deep, deep down in one of the little tendrils that comes off of this area. And to be fair, the world map is not that large, so like, yeah, through exploration and discovery, you're probably going to uncover most of the things eventually anyways, but I'm the kind of person that, just give me a little bit of direction, you know? You don't have to tell me how to do it, like give me the exact spot on the map with like a golden arrow or anything, but just be like, yeah, it's in the southeast. Cool. You gave me something to work with, now I'll go work with that. Busted blowfish? How did that get here? Looks like I got caught up in the rigging or something for the ship. Uh -huh. That or these guys got preyed upon by pirates. 150 for a torpedo is just not a good price. These guys are giving us trash prices right now. If he had engine parts, I'd just flat out buy them right now, actually, with a quickness. And it looks like I've been here before, maybe. I don't know if I sold him those or who sold him those, but... Engine parts worth 60. This guy's got trash prices, though. He can stay at the bottom of the ocean. He can stay at the bottom of the drink for all I care. Ping it on up one more time. Looks like a research station over here. What's my heading right now? Southwest. Okay. It's probably doable. This is just an abandoned drill house, but it might be useful for getting some of our oxygen back. And hell, if there's engine parts up in here, I'll take those too. Looks like we might be outside the range of where the engine parts lie. I also don't think it was a super good plan to give the players a fetch quest, like, first thing in the game. Like, something with a bit more narrative, something a tad more fast-paced probably would have been a better call. Like, a fetch quest, like, right when you hit the game. It's a great way to kill motivation to continue playing, is all I'm saying. Like, because some people see fetch quests and they're just like, oh, never mind then. So we came in from this direction right here. This gives us a roughly northwest heading. Almost dead center. So my guess is that we're in this center lane right here because we're actually, where is... The easy way to do this would be to look up where Daybreak is at. No, we're lined up with Dragon's Tongue, so we're probably coming back up this way. So when we get to Dragon's Tongue, we probably want to cut south and see if we can get back inside of there, maybe. That, or if I could... Maybe cut across right here, that'd work for me, too. This puts us south, yes? That puts us roughly west, but it gets us closer. Okay. That scared me for a second. I thought that was a giant shark for a minute. I was just like, nope. Absolutely not, but it looks like a... Looks like a busted pipe, maybe, of some kind. Definitely feel like we're in a separate area right now. Blow that all up to get it out of the way before accidents happen. And there's a couple locations to dock, so maybe we'll get our engine parts from over here. There's an engine part. And there's some more engine parts, so even better. We're getting closer. Sometimes there's a third lootable in here. Yeah, there it is. Engine parts inside the jar. So we've got 10 right there. What's our objective with the engine parts? To get 10 of them. Okay, then. Well, we've got our 10. Like, 10 done. Accomplished. Task completed. 
I suppose that uh, we'll be up out of here then, because we've got the 10 engine parts. Now we just got to find that Morse machine. I don't know where to get said Morse machine from. From Tell Dollar. If our uh, engine, or I'm sorry, if our, if our sonar man is to be believed. From a place called Tell Dollar, but I don't know where Tell Dollar is. So I think I'm going to have a bit of a look around now that we've completed that objective. I will more than likely make my way back up to the City of Ice. We will start out from there in the next episode. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me at the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Deluvion. Kind of run into a, a weird brick wall for the objective here, but I'm hoping I'll come across... We found everything else by accident, so maybe we'll find the next thing by accident, too. I will see you when we all get together next. If you like the game, get it for yourself down below in the description. If you don't like the game... I'm sure something else will be coming along soon. I tend to rotate titles pretty quickly around here. So keep your eye on the channel, but uh, enjoy your time off from watching videos, okay? See y'all later. Hi-do, everybody.